In this video, let's learn about the histology of the serous type of the salivary gland. The parotid gland is a serous type of salivary gland. What is meant by a serous and a mucous gland? The glands are said as the serous gland and the mucous gland or the mixed type of salivary gland because of the presence of the SNI which are serous or mucous in type. If a gland contains of only serous type of SNI, these are called as the serous type of salivary glands. If a salivary gland that contains only the mucous type of SNI, then they are called as the mucous type of the salivary gland. And if a gland contains both the serous and the mucous SNI, then they are called as the mixed type of salivary gland. So the parotid gland is an example of the serous type of salivary gland. Whereas, the example for the mucous type of salivary gland is the sublingual gland and the mixed type of salivary gland is the submandibular gland. So what are all these SNI? What is a mucous SNI? What is a serous SNI? Now let's learn about the SNI. The serous SNI are the serous glands which are triangular in shape. So I am drawing it here. The cells are triangular in shape which contain the rounded nucleus at the base. So the nuclei of these cells are round in shape and they lie at the base. The cell boundaries are indistinct and these contain the zymosin granules. Remember that point, the serous SNI are always darkly stained when you see through the microscopy. This darkly staining is because of the presence of the zymosin granules and they secrete thin watery secretions. Whereas, Coming to the mucous SNI, the mucous SNI contains of cells which have a flat nucleus that also lie at the base. So the nucleus lies at the base of these triangular cells and their cell boundaries are distinct. And these mucous SNI contains of the mucoid material and these appear lightly stained and they appear empty in the hematoxylin and eosin stain and they secrete thick mucoid secretion. And for the example where we can note many of these mucous SNI are in the sublingual gland. So what are the serous and mucous SNI? The serous SNI are a triangular type of cells which have rounded type of nucleus at the base and their cell boundaries are indistinct. They contain of the zymosin cells or the zymosin granules. They contain of the zymosin granules and that is why they stain dark in the hematoxylin and eosin stain and they produce thin watery secretions. And the example of this gland is the parotid gland which we are going to discuss now. And the mucous SNI are the mucoid cells which have a triangular shape of cell and their nuclei lies at the base which is flat in shape. They produce thick mucoid secretion and the example are the sublingual glands. And coming to this diagram in the histology of the parotid gland. The parotid gland is the serous type of salivary gland as we already said. And throughout this gland only serous type of SNI are present. So you can note these are the serous SNI. As I already said they are darkly stained due to the presence of the zymosin granules. As they are basophilic, intercalated and the striated ducts are seen. The intralobular ducts are seen. So in this diagram, this is an intralobular duct. The striated duct is also called as intralobular duct. And you can note the presence of the interlobular duct. This duct is the interlobular duct. This is actually the striated duct. And the intralobular duct is present as the cells are small. So this duct is the striated duct which has triangular cells. And you can note the presence of the adipocytes here. These are the adipocytes and the blood vessels. So these are the blood vessels. And many connective tissue septum divides the gland into the lobules. So this is the connective tissue septum. So let's revise it. The histology of the serous type of salivary gland. The parotid gland is the serous type of salivary gland and it consists of mainly the serous type of SNI. The serous SNI are mainly stained dark because of the presence of the zymosin granules which are basophilic and the intercalated ducts and the striated ducts are seen. So this is the striated duct here and this is the intralobular duct. 
The interlobular duct is also seen. Don't get confused between the inter and the intralobular duct. The inter meaning these are present in the connective tissue septum and the intra they are present within the serous SNI. You can note the presence of the blood vessels here and the adipocytes. And this is the connective tissue septa which divides the gland into the lobules. So guys, this is all about the histology of the serous type of salivary gland that is the parotid gland. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.